Hello, good day viewers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Teresita Gonzalez, proprietor of Philippine Global Exil Review and Tutorial Center. Let me start this content by opening it with my slogan, the best investment in life is education. Our topic is a continuation of how to write an action research. We enumerated the seven processes in writing an action research and these are first selecting a focus, number two is clarifying the theories, number three is identifying research questions, number four is collecting the data, Number five is analyzing the data. Number six is reporting the results. And number, number seven is taking informed action plan. Today, I am going to tackle the three first parts of these processes. First is selecting and framing the title of your action research. Clarifying the theories, and the third is identifying research questions. On selecting and framing the title, number one step is to capture all the relevant aspects of your study. Do not talk about ideas and other topics that is not really related to your study. Number two make it accessible and captivating to readers even if there's a pile of action researches see to it that your, the title that you have would be captivating or attractive to the readers ask these basic questions number one what is my paper all about number two what methods or techniques should I use to perform my study? Next is, what, to whom are the subjects of my, and who are the subjects of my study? The last is, what would be the possible results? Even if you are conducting an action research, you should already have a possible result result after conducting your action research even if you are still making the title there would already be prospects of what would be the, the result of the research next the title should number one indicate accurate accurately the subject and the scope of the study be specific make your title simple by, by trying to tackle what is really the subject all about and the scope should be very clear as to there would be limitations of your study as to a particular classroom study only whether it could be in a district research or it can be the entire school study and be sure that everybody that are members of the research or you as a researcher or other researchers should go hand in hand and should combine force for the realization of your research next is to avoid using abbreviations when you are making the title do not use abbreviations say for example the school is slsu the meaning is Southern Lady State University. Do not just write the abbreviation is a issue. Write the complete, the complete details. You should have to spell out what is the meaning of is a issue or any other abbreviations not allowed. Next, use words that create a positive impression and stimulate the reader's interest. Say, for example, with the latest situation in the pandem pandemic, what is very relevant, stu relevant study that should be written must be all about the relationship of pandemic stress to job performance of the teachers. Next, use current nomenclature from the field of the study. 
identify k variables and whether they are independent or dependent variables. Say for example, when you are teaching mathematics and your studies are about how hard is it to solve worded mathematical problem, see to it that you indicate what will be your dependent variables and independent variables because you're going to get the, the level of significance or the degree of difference between these two variables. The independent variable in here is solving mathematical problem. When we say independent, it's only one. It's independent. And other variables on study depends, depends on the ability of the students in writing or solving worded mathematical problems. Say, for example, the independent dependent variable, but variables may be reading comprehension, mathematical ability of the students. Next, the, ti the title should reveal how the paper will be organized. So before conducting a research, the action research, research must be well organized from the first step or the first process up to the last. Titles are usually in the form of a phrase but can also be in the form of a but can never be in the form of a question. Do not write a title that will need a question mark a symbol. See to it that it is a phrase and could be understood. Use correct grammar and capitalization. All nouns, pronouns, verb, adjective and adverbs. Appear, that appear in the first and last words of the title must be all capitalized. Since it is a title, not even a single word should be written in small letters. Next topic is clarifying theories. How do we cl classify theories? So know that theories are relationship to a research process. Say, for example, we have the CLT or the Cognitive Learning Theory. What is this all about? This is about understanding how the human mind works while people learn. How information are processed by the brain. Since this is cognitive, this has relation with the brain. Psychomotor is doing the action. Affective is on emotion. This is theory into practice and then practice to theory. Action research is method development. This develops the action research process and, and illustrates a model of the process. When you are trying to illustrate the action research paradigm, you should be able to have the correct flow of the research, the proper flow. The last is identifying research questions. For a thesis and dissertation, this is what we call a statement of the problem. What are research questions? These are, these are part of the action research that should be made narrow in focus of your assignment and evaluation. Then this should be specific questions to be answered generated for both quantitative and qualitative research but they only differ in some special focus when we say quantitative this is countable as to may how many are involved qualitative is how was it done it is talking about the quality there are three types of research questions. First, descriptive. Second is comparative. And the last is causal type. For descriptive, there is only simple description. We only describe. In comparative, we compare one, one variable to the other. And causal type is trying to know what are the causes of a, of a result. How do we define a good research question? This should be focused on a single topic. 
so one requirement is to be specific and make a simple action research so it should be that you talk only about one topic if a question is general fix it by deciding which part of the topic you want to research do not be be talking about do not talk about very comprehensive topics that is the secret of a good research question now we i'd like to emphasize the word relevance relevance which is a part of the code of an action research which is smart s for being specific and simple m for being measurable a for being achievable letter r is relevance and letter t is that an action research should be time bounded what is relevance relevant being relevant is pertinent it is applicable it implies trace being traceable it could be traced and it is significant with logical connection so this some have something to do with clarifying theories so this is a good sign of a very good research action research now the references of what i have been talking are the following aldrin collins in the year 2017 campbell of 2013 in their tight in their written article of educational journal of living theories chaiklin of 2017 on children development and then reflexive study of a global professional inoe 2015 on psychology of action research real in 2015 action research online so that is it for today thank you for watching there are more videos coming don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button i appreciate your feedbacks and your thumbs up and even your thumbs down see you next time stay safe and god bless us all